People count. You count. And you can count on us to deliver real people stories from around the territory. This is People Count. Hi, and welcome to People Count. Today on the show, we have Major Raymond Erickson King, all the way from San Francisco. And uh, he's here to talk to us about what's happened in the last week. Major, how are you doing today? I am doing wonderful. Thank you. Uh, might I point out that you do have this tinge of similarities to Steve Carell? Well, you know, that's what I'm told around here. And actually, during the holidays, uh, they actually wrapped my whole office uh, from the episode from The Office, of course, uh, everything, <laughs> my chair, my computer screen, my desk. I couldn't do anything until I unwrapped it. So they have fun with me here as well. So I heard um, you had a very busy week. Yeah? Yes. Could you um, kind of fill us in on what's been going on over there in San Francisco? Uh, we had a very busy week here at, at the Salvation Army, and especially in the city of San Francisco. Uh, we had that event of the UPS shooting here, and the Salvation Army was called upon to come assist by providing spiritual counseling and to provide some meals as well on site of, of that day. And myself and some other Salvation Army officers had the opportunity to go and, and speak to the workers there. And ironically, uh, here at the Salvation Army in Relton Place, which is another program that we oversee here, we have a resident that actually works there, and I saw him there. And oh, wow. So I had an opportunity to speak to him as well. Um, everybody's still processing things there, and um, and it's... I'm glad that the Salvation Army has that opportunity to be there to to be there to uh, help them process you know, the events that took place and be an encouragement to them. Um, is there anything we can do out here or anywhere outside of San Francisco to help out with the with the shooting and all the all the victims involved in that, or is that kind of taken care of? Well, you know, you you can pray. I mean, just pray for the families. Um, you know, it's. It's interesting though, I talked to the UPS worker that comes and picks up our delivery stuff just yesterday and uh, he recognized me because I, I was in my uniform. So he said, thank you for coming in and just being there for us and just listening to us. And, you know, and people, he says, people are still processing. So I would just say, pray, just pray for the families, pray for the UPS workers. They work very hard. And also I went again on that Friday the shooting happened last Wednesday, but on Friday I went again and I talked to an employee who was there for 35 years and she was there to come and help volunteer that day for counseling. Oh, wow. Said, um, it's tough working at UPS because you got time. Everything is time oriented. You got when you pick up your package, when you deliver it, when you come back, everything is time oriented. And then if you don't get things done in time, you have to work longer. So mandatory overtime so it puts a lot of stress not only on the worker but the supervisor and the managers it comes from the top down so um, it's a very stressful job in a lot of ways for those workers yeah, so I bet. Just, just pray for them uh, that uh, they have a peace of mind and and working together as a team wow that's that's got to be a lot going on and it's, uh, it's glad it's good that we're um mobilized and ready to be there. Fill us in on what, what else happens around there in San Francisco. You're in charge of the Croc Center, and what was the other program you mentioned? Oh, yes. It's called Railton Place. It's a transitional and permanent housing for um, adults, uh, for seniors, and for veterans, and, okay. and for youth coming out of the foster care system. And we okay. have 10 units, which sits on top of the Croc Center. So it's an eight-story building, the first three floors, is for the Croc Center and then floors uh, three through eight is through is for a uh, relative place. Wow. So we are very busy here. This building, this community yeah. here is very busy with the Salvation Army. Yeah. So again, um, I wasn't clear. How many people can you house in that facility at one time? Yes, 110 units. They're single room occupancy, so SR wow. so units. So we have three resident managers that oversee that as well, plus we have a, a program director plus case managers as well. So it's just not a free place to live. It's, it's a working program for those who are in transition. So we do job training uh, with them as well and help them in life skills. And my wife and I, we come along and help them in the spiritual aspect as well. So we do a lot of community outreach to them. This Friday, we're going to do a, um, a breakfast for uh, Actually, it's a lunch. We do a, a community meal with them once a month as well. 
Um, so now a lot of them get a you know maybe a quality meal every day. So this will help them in their in their living here as well. Yeah, and you're right off of um, Turk Street, isn't it? Two forty Turk Street in the yeah. heart tenderloin. Yeah, so it's pretty. Uh, you get you get a lot of stuff happening out there, don't you? We do, we do. There's a lot of need here in this community, and this is where the Salvation Army should be in San Francisco. We're very fortunate that we have this great facility and great programs that happen here. Speaking of programs, we have our summer day camp program in full swing. Actually, right oh, when nice. uh, school ended, the next week on Monday, we started our summer day camp. I know in a lot of places, they take the week off to do some orientation, but what we did this year is we did the orientation um, we prepped the, our staff ahead of time what, what we will anticipate this summer. So we just rolled over our employees that work for us during their after school program to our summer school, uh, summer day camp program. Wow, that's cool. Um, what else does the, the Croc Center provide in the area? What, what kind of programs does it have? Because I know every Croc Center is unique and has their own kind of thing for each community. So, what does the San Francisco Croc Center have to offer? We got the state-of-the-art game room. Um, the previous officers here, I just want to shout out to them. Majors Roshlow did an excellent job of laying the foundation here. And the game room is one of the big highlights here. Uh, That's cool. For our facility. So it's constantly being used. We do different uh, events and activities in there. We just bought a virtual reality game console. So we're going to be promoting oh, that. That's cool. Actually, this weekend on Saturday. So we anticipate a lot of people coming in and checking that out. Yeah. Yeah, you might see me up there. I don't know. <laughs> Those are really cool machines. Also, you know, we we just kicked off Orange, you know, our new Sunday school curriculum that is rolled oh, yeah. Day West. And uh, so, you know, it's it's going off really well. And we've been getting the ARC involved as well. So we go and pick up the men from the ARC and they're heavily getting involved. And we just enrolled two adherents. Oh, wow. A couple of weeks ago as well. And, uh, and then we have another soldier who is transferring from Lodi, California, to our Corps as well. He just moved here. So we've got some great things happening uh, here in, at San Francisco. Proxy. That's cool. So, uh, you're going to see a lot more postings of us. We like to post a lot what we do around here. So. All right. So you guys have a Facebook page and a... Yes. And yes. And some other stuff. So we got a killer website as well, uh, crocsf.org. Um, it's up to date. It's really good. It tells us tells you about all of our programs that we have, especially our senior program. That's the one of the programs we don't advertise much, but everybody knows about it here in the tenderloin. Is when the seniors come in, we do a senior feeding program, and then we also do a programming with them as well. Oh, nice! That's very cool. Needs that, Major. It was great to have you on the show. It was good to catch up to you. I haven't seen you in a long time, so it's always good to see you. All right. Well, check us out on Facebook. We're there. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You have a good one. Thank you. Take care. Isn't it amazing how the Salvation Army is ready to go at any given time? I ask that you just continue to pray for those in San Francisco and that you continue to uplift them in prayer, just like Major said. Thank you for watching People Count. I'm your host, Steve Garcia.